You live here? Yep. Hey, are you a uh, pug pecking poozy? Yep. All right. Do you consistently have pups down? Like you, you're breeding every cycle and you got them pretty much down like often? Yeah. So we have we, 100 head of dogs. Okay. We always have pups. Okay. Six you you raise about 250 puppies a year yeah, six consistently. Years. The first couple of years wasn't that many, but the last yeah. probably three years has been 250 and it's pretty consistent. We always have puppies. Oh, they, they haven't been bathed. Okay. Oh, you look good. Let's see your little bite. Let's see your little bite. Uh -huh. Hey there, mama. You're okay. You know a good girl when you see a good guy. That's unbrushed, okay. unbathed. Yeah, that's okay. Been laying in a plate. Good. Good. You look good. Seven weeks. Okay, let me see your bite. Let me see your bite. popped his eye. Ooh. And I screamed and picked yeah. it up and went boink and popped it back in and the vet said, if you hadn't done that, he said, I'd have had to went in and cut the bone and cut the this and yeah. that. Yeah. Beautiful Shih Tzu male. He done the same thing to him, but he had that flop of hair, not mm -hmm. like the Pekingese. And I didn't notice it in time and the damage was done and there was actual damage. So he had what, to have his removed. What kind of dog was he who was doing it? This one out here, and my daughter's is a Mountain Cur Pyrenees mix. Oh, uh, chocolate speckled yeah. hound looking neutered pet. So it's that he's biting and he's biting the he, eyes. Yeah. They're Playing. pissy with each other. He, and uh, chomp yeah. him on the head and call yeah. him. trying to be mean. He, he just, playing. yeah. But he don't know how big he is. He thinks he's a chihuahua. Adorable oh, here. <laughs> She hasn't had a bath. She's a little yucky. She's the one that's missing her toes. Aww. And she hasn't she, had a bath. This is the only puppy that survived? or No, no. No. I, just I got her in the house. And oh, died. okay. She lost one and she got her toes frostbit and the tip of her tail. Oh, the tip of her tail. Yeah. We've been calling her Stumpy. <laughs> you primarily out the door sales now? Or? We done broker. Okay. For the first two years until we got our USDA license. And then we went to using uh, a guy out of Mountain Grove that was selling to Chicago Pub Pet Store. And then we built this whole kennel and started this for a guy that uh, lives an hour north of here and he goes to New York every week. I meet him in town and he leaves out with my puppy. He goes back to the pet store in Kabul fixes up the paperwork and gets it all straight for each store and heads straight to New York. And he has a chain of about 15 stores that he makes a big round trip. So you send him your information, he sends it to the stores, posts it on, on his website yeah. for them to shop from. And then we started using Puppy Find and started selling a lot more puppies. My daughter said she's 18, just turned 18. She does the long-haired chihuahuas. She's got her a little group of dogs out there. Yeah. She's posting them on Puppy Find and getting seven fifty, eight fifty a piece out of them. She's mm. only eighteen years old. Yeah. She's making good money. We shipped one to Canada even. <laughs> but dealing with the people, oh, she's had probably thirty text messages this morning over people wanting pups. Raising pups is that your main business? That's what pays the bills and mm -hmm. pays the rent. Okay. I hear that in New York. The whole litter. They they you have to be exclusive to a store. Is that true or no? They are wanting it that way because of all the crap they're having to deal yeah. with and they're trying to shut all the pet stores down and humane society and yeah, blah, blah, yeah, blah, crap, yeah. crap, crap. And, uh, but that's not the case. You don't have to mess with that. Basically, they wanted breeders to commit to them so they could tell their buyers, look, this, this is our, wanted this a is our portfolio person. Yeah. of your kennel, your family, your dogs, your this, your that. So they could have a brag book when people come in and said, look, this is where your puppy comes from. Do you have to deal with them coming out and like going to your place? Yeah, and they just now? wanted some pictures of the kennel. Our first state inspector. State, okay. They was fixed to retire. Yeah. So they didn't care. They was waiting to be here for prop yeah, yeah, yeah. They wrote us our license, told us what we need to do. They didn't give a rat's tail about nothing. Our USDA that. lady that, that does our inspections, 
You know, it's just constantly because we're fixing. We're talking about building a new building. She's more countryfied. I mean, she's got horses and she lives out in the country and she's been a vet tech. She's been all this stuff. So her opinion on things, you know, and they're really not supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. She doesn't write you up for every little thing well, that's gonna. She'll write us up. Really? I'm, but uh. but at the same time. She don't, if you're talking to her and she's talking to you, you know, she's got ideas or to, to and she'll give them to you. She's yeah. got enough she's experience a, to give sound advice. She'll probably die right here. She's yeah. not going anywhere. Yeah. Uh, she has grade two knees. Okay. But she was raised in a cage and she don't know anything but to run in circles and bark. Oh, yeah. Woo, 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 woo. oh, yeah. Woo, woo. And it just makes you want to cry. I mean, yeah. I can literally have goosebumps and cry over this dog. Yeah. And I feel sorry for her that she always just goes in circles and cries. And, you know. Yeah. Got to a bigger yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's been in a 10 by 10 chain link, and then yeah. now she's in the backyard, and she just she still keeps her little tight circle. But yeah. And I ha I think honestly that that has something to do with why her knees are weak, because yeah. usually a Shih Tzu ain't bad for having. Yeah.